guys. Um, a little while ago, I was showing you my oldest fishing rod. I thought it was my oldest fishing rod. It's the oldest one that I've ever had made for me when I was a kid. But I was looking through my collection and I found a rod which I don't even remember where I got it from. It's so old it's, and it's absolutely fantastic actually. It's not boron, it's not carbon, it's not fiberglass, it's not a split cane. It's not Spanish reed. It's even older. I think it's one that somebody must have given me in a collection a while ago. It's made of green heart, I'll just show you. And it's absolutely fantastic. Green heart wood. Well, it's full of grain in that, absolutely beautiful. Lovely metal real seat there. I'm not sure if this was a, a later edition by the owner. But it's absolutely beautiful. And considering it's solid wood, it's not that heavy. I'm actually going to have a go with it. It's three piece. The rings are, let me just show you, ceramic rings like that. Lined. Very solid as well, everything's solid about it. But it's not that heavy. And the way that the real seat is fitted rather low down means that like a lot of the rods from the Victorian era and onwards were sort of multi-purpose rods. Ply rods have usually got the the real seat at the bottom there. But this one's just a little bit high up. I think it's just over ten foot. So it's not bad at all. You could you you could actually use it as a double handed ply rod. But I think it's purpose, if I'm not mistaken, is as a so it's a coarse rod, which, which will suit me perfectly. It's absolutely beautiful. It's quite stiff action. It's quite stiff. But I'll play a good old roach on that. I just thought I'd show you that though. Um, I was looking at a video the other day, which was from the 1939, one of these sort of pathy news things. Very British, very BBC, and it was the making of green heart rods, and it was 1939, like I say, and they were still producing them then. I think they produced them until uh, around about the 1950s, something like that. But they were very popular in the Victorian period, I believe, and they sort of were the predecessors of your, of your cane rods and your bamboo rods. Absolutely gorgeous though. And it's not that heavy, that's the thing about it. Beautiful. I can just see myself fishing with that and it's actually light enough to hold with one hand, which is unusual because I've had all the sun green heart rods and they are massive. In the old Victorian days I've heard stories that the the salmon lads had used great big gigantic uh, sort of 18, 20 foot salmon rods and they were so heavy that if they got a very big salmon on they chuck it in the river, let it drift downstream, and pick it up downstream and start playing the fish again. <laughs> Don't know if it's true or not, but I've heard these tales. But um, so it's, it's quite an early in that, and the condition is absolutely beautiful. I didn't even realise I had it, so I think myself very fortunate. Can't wait to try it. It'll be a real talking piece. I'll get um, I'll get myself a nice reel on the end, a nice centre pin. Beautiful. Just let me show you that anyway because it's it's made of wood like the pipes and it's it's an old beauty like this one. This is my French Algerian pipe. I'm smoking some bosun cut plug. I'm letting it go out because I'm talking. But um so anyway that's probably the oldest rod in the collection. But it's uh, it wasn't one that was made for me, so I'll still say me me little 1960s rod that was made for me when I was a kid is my oldest rod. And this is a very interesting rod anyway. Anyway guys, I just thought I'd show you that bit of history. Take care. See you soon.